If you're a follower of our channel or stay updated on astronomical advancements, you likely have prior knowledge of the imminent transformative impact the new James Webb Space Telescope is poised to have on our understanding of the universe. In a noteworthy development last September, NASA unveiled a captivating image captured by the James Webb Space Telescope, featuring the frigid expanse of the planet Neptune. This image, deemed the best depiction in three decades, stirred considerable excitement among enthusiasts and experts alike. Neptune, often shrouded in mystery, stands out as one of the solar system's least explored celestial bodies. Before delving into the intricacies of this azure ice giant, we extend an invitation to those who haven't subscribed to our channel to do so now. Additionally, hit the notification bell to ensure you stay abreast of our forthcoming videos. If you find the revelations about Neptune enthralling, consider expressing your appreciation with a like at the conclusion of this video. Without further delay, let's delve into some key insights into the enigmatic blue planet situated at the solar system's outermost reaches. Neptune. Key Points. Positioned as the eighth recognized planet in the solar system when observed from the Sun, Neptune holds the distinction of being the last in terms of measured diameter, especially following Pluto's reclassification in 2006. Ranking as the fourth largest, third most massive, and the most densely packed planet in our celestial neighborhood, Neptune boasts approximately 17 times the mass of Earth, edging out its nearly identical twin, Uranus, in mass. Comprising predominantly of gases, liquids, and ice, Neptune officially falls under the classification of an ice giant. Its orbital journey around the Sun spans an immense distance of 2.8 billion miles, requiring an astounding 164.8 Earth years to complete. Notably, Neptune holds the distinction of being the first planet discovered through mathematical calculations alone. While Galileo Galilei had observed the distinctive blue hue in the 17th century, he erroneously identified Neptune as a star. The revelation that another planet existed beyond Uranus, discovered in 1781, emerged in 1846 through the mathematical computations of British mathematician and astronomer John Couch Adams. Concurrently, French astronomer Urban Le Verrier independently confirmed Couch's calculations. The historic sighting of Neptune occurred on September 23, 1846, under the watchful gaze of German astronomer Johann Gottfried Galle at the Berlin Observatory. Galle officially recognized Neptune as the eighth planet in our solar system. What sets Neptune apart is its signature blue color, a result of the distinctive vibrational pattern within the molecular structure of gaseous methane, a predominant component of Neptune's composition. This unique hue earned Neptune its association with the god of the sea. Neptune, despite its prominence, remains one of the least explored planets in our cosmic repertoire. Observations spanning the last few decades have unearthed noteworthy fluctuations in the ice giant's atmospheric structure, prompting heightened concern among scientists. The limited knowledge about Neptune left researchers grappling with uncertainty in interpreting these observed changes. Pioneering insights into Neptune were initially provided by the Voyager spacecraft in 1989, a mission launched in 1977 with the primary objective of traversing the entire solar system before venturing into interstellar space. Although Neptune wasn't Voyager's intended destination, the images it transmitted back to Earth stood as humanity's best visual representation of the planet for over three decades. The inaugural Hubble Space Telescope also contributed images of the ice giant, albeit with a quality that fell short of expectations. The anticipation surrounding the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope in September 2022 heightened the scientific community's enthusiasm. 
The telescope's imaging capabilities not only delivered the clearest view of Neptune's rings in over 30 years, but also cast the ice giant in an entirely new visual perspective. The captivating image of Neptune captured by the near-infrared camera, near cam, of the James Webb Space Telescope provides a unique perspective by focusing on the near-infrared range, spanning from 0.6 to 5 microns. In this spectral range, Neptune deviates from its characteristic blue appearance and takes on a notably dark hue. The darker regions are presumed to be rich in methane gas, exhibiting strong absorption of red and infrared light. Contrasting with these dark areas are the luminous stripes and spots, indicative of clouds composed of methane ice. These clouds, reflecting sunlight, manifest in an almost white hue. This imaging technique not only unveiled Neptune's intricate ring system with unprecedented clarity, but also brought to light features that were previously challenging to visualize or capture, such as the presumed ice crystal composition of the rings. The faint, bright line encircling the planet's equator suggests the presence of atmospheric circulations, denoting turbulent winds and storms raging across Neptune's surface. Notably, the James Webb image distinctly reveals a well-known vortex at the South Pole. Additionally, a groundbreaking observation is the portrayal of the continuous band of clouds enveloping the planet at higher latitudes. Employing light filtering methods, scientists on Earth can discern the precise composition of gases, glasses, and other structures from a considerable distance. The study of Neptune's rings, initially observed by Voyager 2 in 1989, holds the promise of yielding intriguing new insights into the dynamics of this ice giant situated at the far reaches of the solar system. This marks a significant milestone in the exploration of Neptune, serving as a long-awaited triumph for astronomers amid NASA's constrained funding for a dedicated Neptune probe. Currently, the great dark spot and the enigmatic processes unfolding on Neptune's surface stand as some of the last profound mysteries within our stellar neighborhood. Back in 1989, Voyager 2 made a groundbreaking discovery during its flyby in Neptune's southern hemisphere, the formidable great dark spot, a colossal whirlwind reminiscent of Jupiter's great red spot. Subsequent to this revelation, a team of researchers utilized the Hubble Space Telescope in 1994 to delve into a more detailed examination of the Great Dark Spot. To the researchers' bewilderment, the high-pressure expanse, equivalent in size to Eurasia, had mysteriously vanished. In its place, a new dark spot emerged in the Northern Hemisphere. The transient nature of these colossal storms on Neptune their rapid disappearance after only a few years stood in stark contrast to Jupiter's enduring Great Red Spot, which has persisted for centuries in the same location. While Neptune's storms may be comparatively short-lived, the ice giant stakes its claim as the unrivaled king of wind speeds in the solar system. With storm velocities reaching an astonishing 1,305 miles per hour, Neptune outpaces even the most ferocious tropical cyclones, which peak at around 186 miles per hour. Encountering a Neptune storm is an ordeal one would undoubtedly wish to avoid. In a puzzling turn of events in 2020, scientists encountered unprecedented challenges in understanding the dynamics of Neptune's surface. A team from the University of California at Berkeley, utilizing the Hubble telescope, observed a storm on Neptune's surface that surpassed the width of Earth's Atlantic Ocean. This colossal storm, originating in the planet's northern hemisphere, captured the attention of Berkeley researchers since its discovery in 2018. An annual observation revealed an unexpected southward drift in 2019, heading towards Neptune's equator where storms traditionally dissipate. However, to the researchers' astonishment, Hubble's observations in August 2020 disclosed a reversal in the vortex direction, now veering back north. 
While Hubble has tracked similar dark spots for nearly three decades, this atmospheric behavior presents an entirely novel phenomenon. The significance and implications of these movements remain unknown, leaving researchers grappling with the question of whether these occurrences are rare anomalies or indicators of something more concerning. The largest storm ever observed by Hubble on Neptune boasted a diameter of 4,600 miles. Researchers have monitored this storm's behavior since 1993, noting instances where the storm seemingly vanished, possibly dissipating, only to reappear not far from its disappearance point. The mystery deepens, and scientists aspire to unravel the enigma behind these events. One hypothesis posits that the storms superficially vanish but persist in the deeper layers of Neptune, occasionally resurfacing. With Pluto no longer classified as a planet, Neptune stands as the eighth and final major planet in our solar system. Intriguingly, orbital calculations pertaining to certain celestial bodies in our solar system hint at the potential presence of another large planet positioned beyond Neptune. Referred to as Planet 9 or Planet X, this hypothetical celestial body might be orbiting the Sun in an exceptionally eccentric path, potentially remaining elusive due to challenging lighting conditions. If Planet X indeed follows such a distant orbit, its orbital period around the Sun could extend up to a thousand years. Theoretically, this would render the planet visible to modern telescopes only once every few centuries, adding an extra layer of mystery to the ongoing celestial exploration. Neptune's largest moon, Triton. Let's conclude by revisiting the captivating new image captured by the James Webb Telescope. Upon laying eyes on the photo, the immediate curiosity likely centered around the mesmerizing blue-green glow enveloping Neptune. This celestial display, resembling a brilliantly shining star, is, in fact, a moon. The image unveils seven of the 14 known moons orbiting Neptune, with the most luminous being Triton. As the largest of Neptune's moons, Triton is comparable in size to Earth's moon. Its peculiarly elliptical orbit has led researchers to hypothesize that Triton may have originated as a Kuiper Belt object, later entrapped by Neptune's gravitational pull. The greenish hue of Triton in this image results from specific color filtering techniques applied during image processing. Being an icy moon, Triton splendidly reflects the scarce sunlight it receives. Similar to the observations of ice volcanism on Jupiter's Europa and Saturn's Enceladus, Triton may harbor a liquid ocean beneath its icy surface. With these tantalizing prospects, a dedicated Neptune probe promises a wealth of exploration in this corner of the solar system. As we eagerly await the advent of such missions, the mysteries of Neptune continue to unfold through the lens of the James Webb Telescope. Researchers are poised to regularly scrutinize Neptune with this cutting-edge telescope, promising potential new and exciting discoveries. Rest assured, any groundbreaking findings will be promptly shared here.